Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, I also would like to thank the organizers of this uh, very important conference. And I'm just honored to be uh, a member uh, of this panel of people that I've worked with and people I've admired for most of my adult life. Uh, and I, I also <clears throat> very much appreciate uh, the passion <clears throat> that's in this room. I could feel it just walking in. This is, uh, uh, this, is a, this is a room full of people who care about freedom, who care about their country, their, their native country, people who've suffered, and there's nothing like individual suffering and losses to, to focus the attention uh, on, on a very, very important problem. Now, with regard to Iran, there are three, three very dangerous consequences um, with regard to the path that it is on. The first one, of course, is that it becomes nuclear weapons capable. That has a geometry all unto its own. We tried for years to prevent North Korea from becoming nuclear weapons capable. We are, as a matter of policy, bent on making sure that Iran does not achieve the same thing. The second reason, the second danger that that, that that eventuality would pose, if in fact it does happen, is the fact that it would trigger a nuclear arms race in the Persian Gulf. And, and that is also fairly certain, uh, a, a fairly certain outcropping of that first eventuality. And the third one, and, and the one, frankly, that as National Security Advisor worries me even more than the first two, is that Iran as a state sponsor of terrorism could easily be seen to be the type of country that would export that kind of technology, weapons of mass destruction, to terrorist organizations. I would tell you that um, the, the rapprochement between Russia and uh, the United States started very early on in 2009, and that Iran was one of the central reasons for that, uh, that rapprochement.